Hey guys, so I actually had a real video planned out for today. It was going to be how to start 2015 on a good note, like on a positive note, tips for, you know, having a good year and everything like that. But as I sat down to film that video, I actually had it all even planned out in a little book. Um, I decided that I didn't want to film that anymore and I kind of just wanted to talk to you guys motivationally because I don't really do that. But I have a lot of advice that I learned a ton throughout this year that I just don't really give to you guys or I don't really talk to you guys that much. I'm not open with you guys when it comes to my personal life. I just wanted to kind of share my advice that I learned this year with you guys and hopefully you'll take a grain of salt from the mountain of salt that I'm giving you. <laughs> I wanted to first share the advice that changed, literally changed my life. Um, and it actually came from my student teacher in history this year. And he's so cool. Um, but anyway, he told us, like my class, as we were, as, it was like his last day, and he was like, well you, okay, let me back up a little bit. You could tell that like when he was a teacher, he, or like when he was student teaching that he obviously did a lot in his life, had a lot of life experiences and he traveled the world a ton and he had, you know, really good friends and he lost a couple of friends and he's just been through a lot in his life and you can tell that, you know, he likes to have fun, he likes to be an outgoing kind of guy and just someone that you want to be friends with and when you meet them you just want to like reflect on them. You want their personality to just reflect off of you and you kind of want to be more like them. He was just a great guy. And um, he left advice for my class and he said that you're only young once, so now is your time to be young and stupid, to make as many, many mistakes as you can and learn from all of them because if you are stupid when you're older, you're just this stupid idiot running around. But if you're young, your excuse is that you're young and stupid and you can do whatever you want. And I don't really know why that kind of stuck with me the way that it did, but it just did. The only explanation I could think of is because I have grown up a ton this year. Um, I have a boyfriend, if you guys don't know, who is older than me. He's 19 and I'm 16. I have started working more with YouTube, which made me grow up a lot more and a lot faster. I had another job where I was the party manager there, so I had to deal with adults all the time in the adult business world. This was someone's business that she left for me to carry and you know it's a lot to handle when you're only 16 so i always felt the need to be very mature and not make stupid decisions and kind of just have the sense of i know better than most people my age because i'm more mature than most people my age but when he told me that it just kind of made me take two steps back and made me realize i'm 16 i'm so young i have so much life ahead of me and this right now is my prime few years to really just be an idiot and embrace it and enjoy it and learn from it because I'm safe right now um, under the roof of my parents. If I make any drastic mistake, they can't abandon me. They're my family. They love me. They'll always support me with whatever I do. And I have a family to fall back on. If I'm, you know, like in college and I'm on my own making these mistakes, that's for me to handle and stuff like that. So, and past college, what are you like 21, 22 when you graduate college? I mean, you can't be making the same stupid mistakes that you'd be making when you're 16, 17, 18, you know? So that advice just really, really stuck with me and really just made me want to go out and live life and be stupid and make really stupid decisions and just learn from them. Now, have I made stupid decisions? No, because I have a conscience. But um, it just inspires me to live and to go be the teenager that I am. That advice just stuck with me seriously so much and changed my life incredibly. He just he was just a really awesome teacher, probably the most influential teacher, and he was just so cool. I only had him for like three months, but he was awesome. I also learned that you know the whole phrase "new year, new me." Just because it's something that people hate doesn't mean it's not true. You can come completely be someone different in the new year if you want to. People always look at a fresh start. That's why everyone starts on Mondays when they start a new diet or um, at the new quarter or a new month. They always make weekly goals, monthly goals, new um, semester goals, stuff like that. It's just, it's a part of life. Like everyone looks for a new chapter to begin with. Here's, a, here's something to think about. For me anyway, I grew up was obsessed with notebooks and you know, I always 
would go to like Staples and I would just love getting a brand new notebook, like just a spiral notebook. I loved it because I could do whatever I want with that notebook. I can make it my writing notebook. I can make it my drawing notebook, my chores notebook, my agenda notebook, homework notebook, writing notebook, song lyric write notebook. <laughs> did I make songs when I was seven? Yes, I did. And am I proud of them? No, I'm not. Do I still remember all the lyrics? Yes, I do. <laughs> but um, I just love new notebooks because it's a whole new, it's all these pages that are so blank and I make them whatever I wanted. I still love getting new notebooks today. I get new notebooks like once a week just because I love brand new notebooks that are just empty and I can make them whatever I want. Same with agendas. I love new agendas. Like this one, brand spanking new and I am loving it. I just feel so motivated to write in it all the time and stuff like that. So a new year, especially for someone who's like me and is like organized and likes being planned out with lists and everything, a new year is a fantastic way to a new start. And just because someone hates the phrase new year, new me, doesn't mean that you can't have a new year, new you. Um, you just don't have to say that on Twitter. <laughs> If you want to be this person that goes to parties all the time and is a complete extrovert and is social but you're actually an introvert, go do it. Like you can do whatever you want. If you want to travel, save up your money and go travel. If you want to, you know, if you have no money and you want to make $5,000, go get a job. Make $5,000. Nothing is stopping you. Your location doesn't stop you. Whatever you're doing in life, nothing can stop you. It's all completely you. Every single problem has a solution. So solve all your issues in your life and you will be golden. Am I saying it's gonna be instant? No, it takes a lot of time. But honestly, there's no reason why you can't go out and be exactly who you wanna be, do exactly what you wanna do. You are the only person stopping you from doing that. I think you guys should really set goals for yourself. Um, New Year's resolutions are different than goals. I realized that last year resolutions mean something you want to fix in the new year. I just believe in setting goals for the new year. Um, I think it really, really helps. Also, you know, get inspired. What do you like to do? Do you like to take pictures? Get a camera. Go take pictures. You don't have enough money for a camera? Use your phone. You don't need big equipment to like go do something that you're passionate about. If you're passionate about, it'll come to you and it'll happen. Basically, what I want you guys to take from this video is in the new year, I want you to go live life to your absolute fullest. I want you to go be happy. If something makes you unhappy, stop whatever it is and find your happiness again because life is far, far, far too short to be anything but happy. And my life is flying by me and I just see it going by and I feel like I don't do anything half the time. I like being home and I like watching movies and eating Chinese food and pizza with my friends, but I also like going out and I like having fun with my friends too and life is just so fast and I'm 16, I'm going to be a senior next year, then I have to go to college and what I'm going to do after college and where am I going to go to college and it's just so fast and everything is moving literally at the speed of light and I'm just, you blink and you've aged five years so it's crazy how fast the world moves and how fast you move as a human being and a person. It's just crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this different video from me. Um, I just really wanted to sit down and talk to you guys and kind of let you in on what's going on in my life and a little bit of inspiration and just advice to take for this year because I really want you guys to have an absolute amazing, amazing, amazing year. Um, and just really enjoy it and live it to the absolute fullest because you guys won't regret it, I promise. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for listening to my advice and just everything. Oh, I really hope you took a little something from the video. Just if I could have one person change from this video, that'd be awesome and just amazing. So thanks again so much for listening, guys. You are the absolute best. This year would not have been the way that it was without you guys. I seriously cherish every single one of you and can't thank you enough for all you guys have done for me. Seriously, thank you so, so, so much. Um, if you want to see more of these videos, um, let me know or give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you like me sitting down talking to the camera. Um, just let me know. I want to make videos you guys are happy with. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful new year. Um, let me know what, yours, what your guys' goals are in the comments below. I'd love to know. 
and also let me know if you learned anything in this video or not. So I'll talk to you guys all in the next video. Um, make sure you guys are subscribed. I upload every Thursday and Sunday. And if you want to stay updated, oh my god, I can't talk. Updated with me in between each upload. I have all my social media links down below, like Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. So I'll talk to you guys then. Bye. Watch. I'm just gonna keep looking up things to cook. Can you look at the camera? I want them to see your jawline. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just a piece of meat too. So this is Teddy.